For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Billionaire Paul Singer and his investment firm, Elliott Investment Management, are making significant waves in the financial world. The fund has been actively involved in discussions with several major companies, leading to substantial changes and potential shakeups in various industries. One of the most notable involvements of Elliott Investment Management has been with Starbucks. The fund engaged in active discussions with the coffee giant regarding a comprehensive turnaround plan. These discussions ultimately resulted in the appointment of a new chief executive officer for Starbucks, signaling a potential shift in the company's strategy and operations. In addition to its involvement with Starbucks, Elliott has been embroiled in a highly publicized dispute with Southwest Airlines. The situation has escalated to the point where Elliott has nominated 10 new board members for the airline. This move suggests that the fund is seeking significant changes in the airline's governance and strategic direction. In the technology sector, Elliott Investment Management has made some intriguing moves that have caught the attention of market observers. The fund has completely divested its holdings in NVIDIA, a company that has been at the forefront of the artificial intelligence intelligence revolution. This decision aligns with Elliott's recent public stance on artificial intelligence, which they have described as overhyped. In a letter to shareholders earlier this month, Elliott expressed skepticism about the long-term viability and efficiency of artificial intelligence technology. The fund argued that artificial intelligence consumes an excessive amount of energy and will never achieve cost efficiency. Furthermore, they went as far as to suggest that Nvidia's current market position is reminiscent of a bubble. Instead of maintaining its position in NVIDIA, Elliott has chosen to initiate a new position in ARM Holdings. This move indicates a shift in the fund's technology investment strategy, potentially signaling a preference for companies with different business models and market positions. Arm Holdings has established itself as a dominant force in the smartphone industry. The company's technology can be found in virtually every smartphone across the globe, giving it an unparalleled reach in this market segment. This ubiquity provides Arm with a stable and potentially growing revenue stream. One of the key differentiators between ARM and NVIDIA lies in their business models. While NVIDIA designs its own chips, ARM operates on a licensing model. The company licenses its technology to other chip makers, who then use it to create their own products. ARM generates revenue by collecting royalties based on the number of chips shipped that incorporate its architecture. This licensing model has proven to be highly lucrative and sustainable for ARM. Once its technology is designed into a product, the company can continue to collect royalties for years or even decades. In fact, ARM has disclosed that nearly half of its royalty income comes from products that were released between 1990 and 2012. This long-tail revenue stream provides the company with a level of financial stability that is highly attractive to investors. In recent years, ARM has been evolving its business model further by shifting customers towards a subscription-based approach. This new model allows customers to access a wide array of ARM's intellectual property through platforms such as ARM Total Access and ARM Flexible Access. This shift towards a subscription model could potentially provide ARM with more predictable and recurring revenue streams. While ARM has already established dominance in the smartphone market, the company is now setting its sights on the Windows-based personal computer market. ARM has set an ambitious goal of capturing at least 50% market share in this space within the next five years. This expansion into the personal computer market represents a significant growth opportunity for the company. Beyond smartphones and personal computers, ARM has also been making inroads in the automotive sector. As vehicles become increasingly computerized and connected, ARM's technology is finding new applications in the automotive industry. Despite Elliott's skepticism about artificial intelligence, it's worth noting that ARM has also been benefiting from the ongoing artificial intelligence infrastructure build-out. During its quarter two earnings call, the company reported increased licensing activity into the artificial intelligence data center space. This increase is attributed to the need for customization in artificial intelligence applications, which often requires ARM-based chips. ARM's involvement in the artificial intelligence sector extends to collaborations with other major players. For instance, the company has developed a collaborative chip with NVIDIA called the Grace Hopper. This chip is also slated to be incorporated into NVIDIA's next generation Grace Blackwell chip. Furthermore, ARM's technology has been utilized in new central processing unit data center chips developed by both Alphabet and Amazon. Meanwhile, cloud computing companies continue to invest heavily in building out this infrastructure. Given Elliott's public comments on artificial intelligence, it's possible that the fund would prefer to see SoftBank and ARM move away from their plans to develop their own artificial intelligence chips and build out artificial intelligence data centers globally. Some market observers speculate that Elliott's anti-artificial intelligence stance might be a strategic move to persuade SoftBank and ARM to reconsider these plans and instead focus on buying back stock. 
With stakes in both SoftBank and ARM, Elliott's ultimate strategy remains unclear. Looking at ARM in isolation, its stock currently trades at a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 63.5 times based on 2025 analyst estimates. This valuation is significantly higher than that of NVIDIA, although it's worth noting that ARM arguably possesses one of the most attractive business models in the semiconductor industry. The longevity of its royalty streams and its licensing revenue model contribute to this attractiveness. Following a recent pullback in ARM's stock price, some investors may find the company more appealing now than in the past. However, given its current valuation, a prudent approach might be to initiate a small position and gradually increase holdings through dollar cost averaging during future market weakness. This strategy could help mitigate the risks associated with the stock's high valuation. While ARM's diverse revenue streams provide some insulation, a significant slowdown in artificial intelligence related spending could still impact the company's growth prospects. In conclusion, the moves made by Elliott Investment Management reflect a shifting perspective on the technology sector and artificial artificial intelligence. As the fund continues to exert influence on various companies and industries, investors will be closely watching to see how these strategies unfold and impact the market landscape. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.